All right, guys. Fish catch more here again. Uh, first thing I want to tell you to do: go check out Santone Lures. Go check out Quick Baits, and you got to check out the best rod builder I've ever seen in Dynamis Rods. Just check them out at Dynamis Rods and DynamisRod.com. All right. First thing I want to talk about is skip casting and the skip cast motion. Leaves are falling. I don't have any concrete out here. I'm out here in the sticks. So you can do it on red, dry dirt if you had it. Just any flat surface, really. But if you can do it on concrete, you can do it on water. I promise you. But it's about, uh, this, I'm talking about the motion of a skip cast. And this is the way I do it. A lot of people use a force method. method. That's okay. And, you know, it's fishing. If you can do it your way, then don't listen to me. You keep doing it your way. But this is how I do it. So, when you're skip casting, the most important thing to me during a skip cast is your rod. I, I look at it as rod, jig trailer, and then rod trajectory. Your reel kind of matters, but as long as you've got centrifugal brakes on your spool, I think you're going to be good. But once you get good at it, it doesn't matter. You can do it with any reel. But, you know, the main thing about skipping a jig or any kind of bait is the actual bait itself. When you're first starting out, I suggest using a fluke or a Cinco or a large swim bait of some sort. I mean, those skip better than anything. If you can't skip one of those, just keep trying, keep trying. And once you get that motion down, once you get that figured out, then you can move on to other baits like jigs. And heck, you can skip a buzz bait if you put the right trailer on it. And so, second, jig trailer. Okay, you want a jig trailer that's flat on the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can have ridges in it. But as long as it's flat, somewhat on the bottom, like a big salty chunk from Zoom, skips real well. And the Rage line of baits, they skip very well. Uh, and then once you, once you progress, then you can start to skip anything that's got a plastic trailer on it. But this is just about the motion, okay? This is what I'm talking about today. And like I was telling you, you got to have a rod with some tip to it, okay? You don't want to go out there and try to skip with a broomstick. It's going to be frustrating as crap. And also, you don't want to try to skip when you've got a lot of chop on the water. The water surface just isn't smooth enough, and you'll be fighting your equipment more than you will be skipping, and nobody wants to do that. Okay, so I'm going to try to demonstrate here. Like I said, this is a Veritas, you know, Abu Garcia 7.6. And the uh, reason I use a 7.6 is because I'm a taller guy. I'm about six foot one, But this rod has enough tip to it to where you can still get your accuracy and get that sling slingshot motion to your cast on your side arm. Number one thing about the casting motion I try to tell people is keep that rod low. Don't swing down and then up. Don't swing down. And then just keep your rod down. That's You want an even, level cast. You want to keep that rod low to the water. And I understand that your trolling motor or whatever is going to be in the way sometimes. Just get closer to the trolling motor. So where your trolling motor's here, you know, say, so you want your rod will hit your the top of your trolling motor. So, you know, want to, want to do this with your dominant hand, obviously. But keeping that rod flat and low is how I do it. And I don't, I don't use a force method. I just slide that thing in there and when you keep that rod low like that and you keep get that thing out there and once it starts to skip this is the sec this is one of the most critical things about skip casting is when that thing hits the water and begins to start skipping you want to get that rod and you want to keep bringing that rod up okay i call it the follow through you can call it whatever you want but that's that's what i call it when that thing starts to skip start to bring that rod tip up and what you're doing by keep bringing that rod tip up is you're keeping, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the force of the bait from going down into the water. It's not, it, you're, you know, it's hard to comprehend that, but even though that your spool is set loose, there's still a bit of tension between your spool and that bait. So as you're bringing that rod up, you're reducing the likelihood of that bait crashing into the water and going down. You know what I'm saying? You're keeping it up and you're keeping it skipping. So you got to have that follow through to keep that bait going. 
and if you get that follow through down, that'll improve your distance. I mean, you can skip two or three times by just slamming it down in the water, and it'll go boop, 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 and then quit. But that's that's not what you want. You want to get that bait 10, 15, sometimes 20 feet. Heck, you can cover a 24-foot pontoon boat if you get the right skip cast going. And, you know, around here, boat docks and pontoons and rocks is about all we fish. So, you know, Norman's got 22,000 docks. So, I mean, you take your pick on which one you want to skip. But, uh, you know, usually for us, it's the docks with the encapsulated foam, the black encapsulated foam. That's usually where they like to hang out because the algae grows on the bottom of them. And, uh, obviously, you know, everything else grows around it. And bait fish come up and nitpick stuff off of it. And then, you know, Big Daddy largemouth or spotted bass or smallmouth, whichever you have, come up and, you know, feed on the other bait fish, you know, this life cycle kind of deal. <coughs> but just overall review, not a not a real in-depth video. You know, you, your bait matters, number one. That's the most important thing, number one to me. Number two, your rod. Rod with a soft tip. And then number three, the trajectory of your cast. Keep your cast flat and keep it low until it starts to skip. Once it starts to skip, bring the tip of that rod up and you'll reduce the tension that that thing's putting on the water. It's gonna skip easier. It's not gonna just use the full force of the bait to get straight down into the water. And uh, just keep practicing and uh, good luck. It's cold out here, so we're going back inside.